Welcome to Games Revealed. I'm James and also The Brink, and we are going to be talking about some more Steam Deck goodness news. And yes, I'm going to do this every once in a while. It's not going to be every day. It's going to be whenever I queue up enough good news or just news period about the Steam Deck to give you guys a good video. So before we get into it, just know one of the articles or pieces of news I'm going to go over is about how not to lose your Steam Deck. So make sure to watch, I guess, the whole video to find out. And before we do that, like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar, and let's get into it. So first up on the news docket, we got the iFixit, uh, you know, going to be teaming up with Valve to give us parts. Well, that is coming out this summer. So the parts will be ready summer. Not sure when yet, but they've been announced that they'll be coming this summer uh, and awesome because I think this is one of the best things a console like company could do. So we got Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo. It would be awesome if they released parts that we could fix certain, you know, or just made the controllers and other devices that they give us more repairable because it's just kind of a waste, right? And to not allow that, I understand why they don't. They want to make more money and they make a lot of money off the accessories. Valve does not. Valve makes a lot of money off their Steam store. So that's why they're kind of making things cheaper, making it more easier to repair. And the longer you have a Steam deck, the more likely chance you probably are going to spend money at the Steam store. So that's, in my opinion, why they're doing that. So let's move on to the next item. This one's interesting. This one has a couple of pieces to it from IGN.com. I just wanted to share a couple of these because they're they're interesting. Uh, and one of them's ridiculous. And I <laughs> that's one of the reasons I actually wanted to do it. But first up is you can use OBS and live stream from it on the Steam Deck. That being said, I mean, that wasn't really like a concern of mine. It's a computer. If you can get it set up into a desktop and install things onto it, it, yeah, of course you can be able to use OBS. But once again, it's nice to see that you can. It's just nice to get confirmations. And so this uh, author was able to set up their, their Steam Deck to stream a game. Awesome. Degraded performance of kind of obvious, I think that you are gonna have degraded performance. So with that, I'm gonna use mine, probably as a secondary PC, stream my stuff through it, um, and kind of not put a wear on my main computer. That's probably one way I might do that. I'm really tempted to, to do one of my uh, experiments on my Steam Deck when I get it, to uh, try it that way. So you can use it to work, at, you know, as a work PC, obviously, it's a PC. I mean, how, anything, can you do this with the Steam Deck? Yes, it's a PC. There's a couple of things right now that maybe it's just not gonna be a great experience like Windows, but it soon will be. And there could even be third party drivers to, uh, potentially for that if they really wanted. I'd be really surprised that in the near future, we wouldn't be able to dual boot Windows and Linux at the same time. <laughs> you can make it a portable media center. Yes, it's a PC. You can become an elite hacker with it. Yes, it's a PC. This is the ridiculous part. Uh, yeah, if you have a PC, if you have a computer, yes, you can hack. You can do whatever a hacker, I guess, does, right? Uh, Wireshark, everything runs on Windows, Linux. Like, you, you, you can do all this. This is kind of a funny part, and I don't know if they were trying to be really satirical or not, but, like, it's funny that they put this in here because uh, it is what it is. Let's move on. Uh, how to install Epic Games Launcher on Steam Deck. This is from PC Gamer, and this is actually piggybacking off of uh, a video that they watched where someone was able to put Epic Game Launcher on their Steam Deck. And it's a very lengthy tutorial. Um, just, it, it looks like it takes a lot. They use Proton to make it so it's compatible to install. It's very lengthy, but it, if you want Epic Games Launcher, then it's worth it. I don't know how many games are going to work off of it, but I'm sure some of the games are compatible with it because um, some of the games are compatible in Steam, and uh, Proton is slowly building its huge library of what's compatible and verified. So if you got a free game off of the Epic Game Launcher, you're in luck. You're going to be able to play it on your Steam Deck if it's compatible and verified. Okay. Going on to the next little piece. I love Reddit for these little reasons. 
this is the one I'm kind of talking about. You can track your Steam Deck if you put an AirTag into it. And really what this does is, is they found a spot in the Steam Deck that you can put an AirTag and it doesn't affect any of the functionality. So you can track your, so if your Steam Deck gets stolen, if you lose it, you can track it. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of AirTags, but hey, options, love options. I love seeing people do uh, soft modifications where it really doesn't hurt the system or anything, but you know, it's modified. So uh, love seeing that. Okay, and then the last piece of news, uh, the regular Steam store now shows Steam Deck compatibility, which this is one that's always kind of bothered me because I don't have a Steam Deck yet. And I wanna go look in my, Steam, when I'm buying games and all that, like in the next few months, up until I get my Steam Deck, I want to know if my, if the game I'm going to buy is verified. Maybe it will make a difference whether or not I buy it or not. It still would be nice to know because I do plan on playing my Steam Deck a lot on the go. I do plan on traveling a lot this summer. So I do want to... I just I want to make sure the games I'm picking out this year are good to go on the Steam Deck. That is it for news today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to uh, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. What you liked, what you didn't. And you know what? This has been great. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Later!